What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to talk about the IESF 2022 Bali, the format, the regional qualifiers and why IESF Bali is going to be more interesting and more exciting to watch than M4. Let's jump right into it. ISF World Esports Championship 2022. This is the 14th World Esports Championship and for the first time in Bali, there was a World Esports Championship back in 2016 in Jakarta and now it's in Bali. There's going to be six games, CSGO, CSGO Female, Dota 2, eFootball, Tekken 7, PUBG Mobile and one and only our beloved mobile legend bang bang obviously we are going to focus on mobile legend only the total prize pool for the whole isf world esports championship 2022 is going to be 500,000 usd and it will be divided ml prize pool will be 100,000 usd so the qualifiers so isf world championship 2022 is not going to be easy not all Southeast Asia team will be in the main event in the group stage in Bali. So let me explain. In Mobile Legend category, we will have eight countries for the main event in the group stage. For countries to play to qualify to the group stage is through regional qualifiers. For ISF, there is going to be Oceania, Europe, Asia, Panam, and Africa regional qualifiers. For Indonesia, they will have their own qualifiers, which is the PL president. So Asia qualifiers. Asia is big. The, the, the qualifiers is big. There are four regions in the Asia qualifiers. Southeast Asia, West Asia, Central Asia, and South Asia. So how it works is, as we all know yesterday, the Southeast Asia ISF qualifiers already started. There were two groups, Group A and Group B. Winner of Group A is Malaysia and winner of Group B is Myanmar. So the final stage for Southeast Asia ISF qualifiers, Malaysia and Myanmar will face each other in a best of five. Same goes to the West Asia qualifiers. For West Asia, they, they only have three countries in the qualifiers. So whoever finished top two in group, in the group stage, they will face each other in the final stage for Central Asia, only two countries. So straight away to the final stage in South Asia, they will also have group stage and the top two teams will play in the final stage. That's not all. So the winner of Southeast Asia, West Asia, Central Asia and South Asia qualifiers will then face each other the winner will then go to the main group stage in Bali. So yeah, long process, but fun. I don't know how they are going to do the grand finals Asia qualifiers because I'm afraid for the you know connection issues. Maybe they will do it in Bali just before the main group stage, maybe a day or two before the main group stage. I don't know, but that is how it works for Asia regional qualifiers. So for the European regional qualifiers, they already have the winner. The winner is OBF Esports from Slovenia. I did ask them whether they will have to play in the European qualifiers again with other European countries. And, and then they said that they will straight go to Bali for the group stage. Um, so yeah, congrats to them. Their uh, qualifiers was back in early September, 1st of September until 2nd of September. It was online. So yeah, at least they have a qualifiers. So yeah. So for Panam regional qualifiers, I believe there are two qualifiers in the Panam region. There is Latin America South and Latin America North. The winner of Latin America South qualifiers is Argentina and the winner of Latin America North is Ecuador. So I believe both of the winners will clash offline at Argentina on the 21st until the 23rd of October is their event and the winner will go straight to the group stage in Bali. So yeah, congrats to 
Argentina and Ecuador and good luck in the grand finals. For Africa qualifiers, yes, there is African players, Mobile Legend players. So far, two countries in the qualifiers, Nambia and Nigeria. So we will see if other African countries want to join. Their final stage is on the 13th until 16th of October and it is offline. Yes, offline African MLBB tournament. Same concept, I guess. The winner will go to the group stage in Bali. So like I said, Indonesia, they have their own qualifiers. It's going to be Piala President Esports 2022. They also have West qualifiers, East qualifiers. There's also open qualifiers, closed qualifiers. And then there is going to be 12 teams in the group stage, eight teams in the main event, probably the playoff, and then only one team will represent Indonesia in the IESF. Uh, we don't know whether they will straight away go to the group stage or they will go through the play-in first. That is the part that we don't know yet, but either way, good luck to Indonesia. So for the play-in, not a lot of information about the play-in. The play-in is for, you know, for countries that fail to qualify through their regional qualifiers. They have a second chance like the Philippines. They say that they already have a spot in the play-in. Maybe Vietnam, maybe Laos also. Maybe the loser of the grand final in Southeast Asia. And then other countries, other region, Panam, Europe, Africa and Oceania. They have a second chance to play in the group stage through play-in. It's just I don't know how many countries will be playing in the play-in. What I know is it's going to be offline in Bali and only four countries will qualify to the main event. So yeah, for Oceania, still no news about their qualifiers, but I'm sure in the future we will have information. Yeah, long process, but more fun and more exciting. Is it better than M4? For me, yes. I will say yes because ISF MLBB category have qualifiers around the world. Even M4 doesn't have like Europe qualifiers, um, Africa qualifiers. M4 have one North America team, one Brazilian team, one team from LATAM, one team from Turkey, and most of the teams is from Southeast Asia. So yeah, I hope you guys understand this format explanation. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe.